Hello everybody, this is uh, Bill with the uh, VR Studios. I'm glad to finally get around to making another video. Uh, get out of this here, we kind of hide, minimize that. And today we're going to be doing After Effects, taking a video game. Actually, the whole idea was uh, my son made a video uh, in uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And he made me realize that I haven't done a video for vi uh, my YouTube channel, Vera Studios, for quite some time. Because I've been spending a lot of my time in gaming. Uh, making gaming videos and I was showing him he just made his first gaming channel uh, on YouTube for for uh, playing games and uh, putting it on YouTube and it's of course his channel is called uh, Poke Jake it's a P O K A J A K E <coughs> anyway so I am going to be doing a modification to his video because he He's got game sound, you know, the, the shootings and explosions and whatnot in, in the game. But he wants to take all that out and put uh, some music in the background. And then later, when he uh, composed the music where it kind of tapers off to a low level so he can follow up with putting a narration over that. And then at the end of his narration, the music, of course, will taper back up to full audio and then fade out towards the end of the video so what we're going to do here is we got to first import our video files and uh, <coughs> and I did this video already once in another video recording program and my audio was great through the mic but it didn't record any of the audio inside the program itself as uh, what I've done or even the playback of the video once it was finished so I'm redoing this video okay so we want to make a new composition but what we want to do right now is we want to import our files and there's three ways we can do this uh, we can use the file import and then file and navigate naturally to the file we want to go or we can right click import file and do pretty much the same same thing or you can double click anywhere in this area and go to your file and this will be the music we bring in so we'll open that up in here and then we want to also bring in the video so we have to go up a couple go down to my videos shadow play Call of Duty. here's the original there's the one I finished up with okay so in order to start a new composition, we just drag our video file down to the new comp icon down here that looks like a, uh, a movie strip. And that puts our video right there. Now he doesn't want, the, the music isn't quite as long as you can see. It's about a little over 10 seconds too short. So what we'll do here is we will navigate about I'm not sure we can get 10 seconds without let's see let's just round it up to 10 10 seconds and to be exact it's gonna be what is that 358 so it's 13 seconds so we want to go Take 13 seconds out of that. Come back right here. And 09. We'll be fine. About 20 sec 20 milliseconds. Let's see what that does. That takes us to there. We want to drag this up and if you hold shift it will snap into place right there and then we can take this and drag it all the way to the front by holding shift down it will snap it to the front now that when we drag our music down on the second layer it should match up 
Of course, we want our video to not go beyond that space, so we're going to drag it down. We go shift, it'll snap it into place, and there we go. That way, then when that video ends, now what we want to do is we want to take the music out of the audio. Now, you could just go to the audio and look at your wave format. And this is the whole game uh, audio in the in the video itself. Now you could just drop the levels down to a negative 48 and kill it, or put that back up to normal. Or you could just uh, come up here and knock out the video altogether, or the audio altogether from that video. Now you won't have any audio with this video here. And then down here, we can go down here and set uh, markers for the video. And we will start off by placing an audio level right here at the very beginning at normal. And then we'll probably go in five seconds to that video. So just a five there <coughs> pardon me and we will put another marker right here so between this marker and this marker the audio levels will stay the same now we will go to probably the last actually ends the audio actually ends really right here bulk of it's right here so got 37 so we're going to go to 35 we'll go to 30 make it 30 even just so I like to work with round figures there and of course we have to make another marker pretty much just let's get in closer on that there front of it right there okay All right we want to go in probably another where's this stop at it looks like it stops at five so let's go to six make that six like that even we will place another marker right there and from here so we get to about what was it again three three thirty I believe thirty over here we will place another marker and between these two markers we'll go back to the next marker here from here we will drop the audio levels to say a negative 28 sounds good and from there to the next marker it is going to remain also do a negative 28 otherwise it'll just gradually get louder between those two markers so we gotta go negative oops And there we are. Now we can go in possibly thirty-one. We'll place another marker right here. And then we'll go to the end of the video. I'm gonna say I think actually let's go ahead and edit this marker right here and we'll knock this one up back to zero there we go and then from there we can fade it back out to probably near nothing we'll probably go out to about right here fade it out to nothing we'll put another marker right there 
and we will feed this out to a whole 48 negative 48 decibels now it will just fade back out now if we want to view let's go back to the shrink this back down here all the way to the front here render that see what that sounds like I guess we'll render it out to about 15 seconds and hopefully it'll be doing exactly what we're trying to do here at the beginning all right I hope you guys can hear this Okay, and then he'll start talking about right here. So that worked out great. So let's go to the end here. Where it should go back up and then fade back out. So we'll render that. And to render uh, your audio, by the way, you just have to hit your numbers key zero and then once it's you get to a certain amount of seconds you can hit it again it'll play back that section of the video so here we go and back up now it fades out and there we are so that sounds great okay so we're done with that now here's the other option now remember you have to hit this little thing right here to get rid of the music or the sound effects of that. So now we're ready for rendering. Oh, by the way, uh, if you don't know, I haven't had a chance to tell you. If you go to your preference in general and go to your previews, you can set your duration of your renders or your audio previews to as long. It starts off actually the default is 30 seconds. I have it set for 5 minutes and 30 seconds which uh, is much better than just that 30 seconds of render because it really doesn't say it's 5 seconds. It's 5 what is that, milliseconds or well, this is minutes and hours seconds. Yeah so 5 minutes and 30 seconds allows you to listen to the music in preview which if you want to do preview all you have to do is hit the period key or your number on your numbers keyboard keypad uh, or the period key anyway I don't know if it does uh, oh crap Whew. I'm about to delete it yeah hit your numbers key the de delete option and there we are anyway and that's without render, I believe. Go all the way to the top, I think it will actually go through the whole thing. Yeah, see there? Perfect. And it's not rendering a video, it's just doing the audio. Now, if you want the video and audio rendered together, it takes more time. Less seconds to observe because it only does 15, 20 seconds. Depending on how much RAM you dedicate to it. Anyway, now we're ready for render. So we hit composite and then go down to add to render queue. And while you're in here, you, there's one thing you've got to do if you want to have music sound or whatever audio that you have in there is when you, you hit the, lo the lo lossless uh, section down here. <coughs> this is where you'll change the, uh, the, the format of the video. And what you do is you come up here and I am going to keep it to its original format which is also best for YouTube videos this particular format is uh, is uh, suggested through YouTube and if you want your audio to be rendered with it which is what we want to do and we hit that and then we click OK and then of course wherever you want to I'm going to call it this again because and I want it to, I definitely want it to do that. All right. And I, let's see. And you will get this error 
because I'm running at just less than 60 frames per second so it wants to change it to 60 frames per second which is uh, I guess it's fine it isn't going to make a big major change on my video at all so I'm going to hit render I will give you the uh, outcome as soon as we're done Okay, we are done with the uh, with the render. So now well, let's see how the that. end, the outcome of the actual video, uh, how it turned out. So well, we're gonna go to where the video is. Now let's uh, see if it turned out okay. Great. Great, so it, it, it went down just like uh, we had set it to do. And so it should stay that way throughout the video, which it appears to be doing. Find out the moment we pull it back up, which is right around in here, I believe. All right, yeah, we should be coming to the end of it now. And we should hear a, a sudden increase in, in the music here. Okay. And should be right in here. Yep. And there it is. And a slow fade out. And that should be the end of the video. And there we are and with no leftover and with no leftovers to worry about so that's how you do the uh, an overlay of music and removal of uh, any audio that's in the video itself so that way you can either do a narration or throw music on top of the video or you could also keep the uh, the audio of the original video but you can cut the sound levels down to whatever you want it to be and it'd be kind of just like an ambient noise in the background for the actual video anyway that's it for today and I appreciate you watching uh, VR studios and if you liked the video please don't forget to uh, hit like and share the video if you can and also, if you want to see more videos from Beer Studios, please feel, uh, uh, please uh, hit the subscription button. And uh, any updates that I have or any new videos I post, you will be informed. Anyway, everybody, you guys have a Merry Christmas, and I will see you on my next video, hopefully. You guys have a blessed evening. Bye-bye.